Welcome into Season 1 review time for the Otago Vaults. We'll quickly showcase you the domestic tables. It was an okay year, first season in. We've got a lot of um, work to do in the seasons ahead, but there's some positive signs. Even though we finished last in the domestic um, first class league, I felt we were competitive in a lot of those games. The one day cut was a bit of a disappointment. Uh, we will show you the group stage here. 10 matches and 10 losses. We're only competitive, I think, in one game. It's just our lack of bowling, I think, is really hurting us. Lack of a spinner. Um, if we have a good spinner in that lineup, I think it will add a wee bit to our side. In the 20 over trophy, we had a good run where we got the Premier League final. And of course, our group stage form was six wins and four losses. So, yeah, overall, an aspect uh, results. Not brilliant on paper, but Otago were a huge challenge to take on. And it's going to take a few seasons for things to develop. Um, we've had a couple of call-ups to international duty. Foxcroft was a real shock uh, with him. Um, I don't think he's played a game or anything yet for them. We'll have a look at the player records to see if he has um, very shortly. But yeah, we'll actually go to the player records now and go to the uh, year for Otago for the current year. Just to review the performances. And Fred Sutherland, um, the top run scorer of the season for Otago. The rookie, 793 runs at 56.64. A brilliant first year for him at five. He will continue to remain at five for the next three to four seasons. Just learn his trait. Um, he may have a couple of rough years, second and third year. It always happens to a youth player at times. But hopefully he gets out of that and continues to pile on some runs. Henry Cooper was really good Um in his first season for a target sign from Canterbury. 300s, 250s, average of 58.23. 175 is highest score in the first class comp. Rutherford uh, was a good foil for Cooper. Eight uh, matches, 585 runs at 39. Tom Bruce, 543 runs at 45.25. No 100, I don't think, but he contributed um, 650s. And I'm pretty pleased with how he went. Lou Johnson uh, was another solid performer. Uh, got five first-class matches for the season, averaged 35.13. Neil Broom added 268 runs to his illustrious career at 53.6, 350s there. Muller was a bit of a surprise package, 239 runs at 29.88. A lot of good runs here, by the way. Phillips, 224 runs at 37.33. Kelly was a wee bit disappointing. His average was a bit low there. And our new kitchen... Um, Contributed 144 runs in his two games he played at 48. But the lit down here is the bowling, really. No one averaging under uh, 30. The best bowling average being Muller with 30 wicks at 34.97. Uh, Michael Ray had a very good um, last couple of games and ended up being the top wicket taker. You think Jacob Duffy, the leader of the attack, and his average overall under um, 30 would have been a lot better than his 32 wicks at 35, but still okay. Roman Reyes uh, was a disappointment. Uh, I was hoping the Pakistan left arm bowler would add quite a bit to the team. Um, I think he imp I think he improved towards the latter end of the season, but yeah, just not quite what we're after there going forward. So now for the one day year, the one day year will be for tough reading, I'd say. Uh, Henry Cooper, five hundred forty seven runs at sixty point seven eight, including a massive uh, one hundred and seventy, a big part against Hamish with Hamish Rutherford. Uh, Fred Sutherland, 388 runs at 48.5. Uh, yeah, good numbers for Fred. Hamish Rutherford, uh, a solid average of 41.22. Good amount of runs scored. Arnu Kitchen, uh, 240 runs at 30. That's okay for the all-rounder. Kelly was good in the couple games I gave him towards the back end of the Monday comp. So his average of 225 to 75 is probably one of the pick of the season. Um, Tom Bruce, 173 runs at 28.83, a bit lower than his usual standards. Average is only around 32. Lou Johnson was a bit averaged, 94 runs at 15.67. We need another wicket keeper, I definitely, I think. Neil Broom, five um, games, 75 runs, an average of 25. Huge disappointment um, was Dean Foxcroft. We didn't touch on his numbers for the first class season because he didn't really feature. High score of 31, average of 15. One day, 35 average of 16, and yet he got picked for the Black Cap somehow. I don't know how. They must see something in him. But uh, for me, um, if he had a one-year deal, I probably wouldn't re-sign him. I signed him for three years at the start of the season. Yeah, now let's look at the bowlers. The bowlers sort of struggled, but Muller, 15 wickets at 30.8 30 was the only respectful number there, and all the rest of them taking 10 wickets or less is 
pretty horrible, to say the least. And all the economy rates, note those, none of them under six. We're chasing a lot of scores over 300. Like I was mix and matching all my fields up pretty well, I felt, as well. But yeah, just a wee bit disappointing. I thought Mitch McLennigan could have been a little bit better too with all his experience. And same with uh, Raman Ray's. The 20 over competition was our best competition by far. Um, Tom Bruce was really good throughout the campaign. So was Fred Sutherland. Sutherland was a good closer for us. He had a rememberable 39 or 13. He had a couple of 50s in there as well, I'm thinking. Yeah, two 50s. Decent strike rate as well. I'm hoping um, Fred puts himself available for the like English county season or something. Picks up a lot of experience through there. It'd be good if somehow he got picked up in that system. Yeah, well, the other one-day numbers were surprisingly low. Uh, 20 overs were surprisingly in the mid-20s. But people were getting vital runs at crucial times, and that resulted in us getting to that um, playoff. Wicket takers, uh, Duffy 16 wickets at 15.87, Muller 16 at 19.31, and 14 at 22.79 from McLennigan. Raman Mraz was quite good as well. Gibson bowled all right as well. But the reason why we did so well was because of Duffy and Muller and McLennigan actually taking wickets and restricting sides to something respectful that we could chase down. But yeah, uh, the, the recruitment season will be um, very important for Otago, I feel. Uh, we need to get maybe a couple of young batsmen in still. We need a heap of new bowlers coming through. I need to sort of replace the guys that are averaging 34-35. They're not going to win enough competitions with uh, that sort of bowling unit. So we've got to make adjustments there. But overall, I think the season is just a pass mark with getting to the um, knockout stage of the 20-over competition and being respectful enough in the Plunkett Shield. But... For now, guys, we will catch you next season.